So many years ago, me and my friend in high school wanted to make a game, and so we joined a game jam of sorts. We wanted to make a turn-based dungeon crawler, roguelike, and in the end, we abandoned the project midway through the competition. Although, it would be more exact to say that the game very much looked like it was abandoned right after creating the project. Nonetheless, we made some lore for the game, and the name of the world was Yagazem. The name stems from the myth about Baba Yaga, and the game was originally supposed to feature a lot of Slavic folklore monsters similar to Witcher, like Topielets, Striga, etc. Then, as the years went by, occasionally me and my friend would make new worlds and ramble on about these ideas we had for future games, or game mechanics, or stories. Eventually, mostly thanks to my friends, we would end up making our own god pantheon based around the Pascal Triangle. Pascal Triangle is this cool little map thing where you slowly add up ones over time and the number you'd get was the news in our tier system for our pantheon. And now we cut to present. Here I am, still clinging to the hope of one day bringing this idea of Yagazem into a fully fleshed out game, but also feeling like I won't ever be able to. You know, imposter syndrome and whatnot. I mean, you look at yourself and feel like you won't amount to anything, and that you're doomed to never finish a project you start. After all, it's not like I haven't been trying to make games for the past years. I just never persevere long enough to the point where they would see the light of the day. But nonetheless, I kept on trying to come up with new game ideas, slowly learning bits of information here and there. I mean, I also made some videos of my own on, on game dev, so I guess I learned something. But anyways, every prototype I started making just began to bore me after a while and I always quit. To be fair, last year it has gotten to the point where I started seriously considering giving up completely on this dream of mine. But guess who came back last week? The King Brackies. Here I was, during the night, looking at my YouTube homepage, and I immediately clicked on that video. After I finished watching it, I realized that I stopped enjoying making games at some point, and that I would have to change my perspective going into the future. And so, I got right to working on a new game. I didn't create a new project yet. No, no, we don't do that here. <laughs> we make game design documents. And then we code inside of our game engines. No, I'm being that serious. In the middle of the night, I started writing down the technical stuff regarding the new game. It was only on the following day that after reviewing the document, I created a new project in Godot and started working on the prototype. So now, since you waited long enough to see the prototype that barely holds together, here is Yagazem Dungeons. I'm still going to try to make the dream come true. It's going to be a bullet hell roguelike, like Protato but you will play as a character that has QBRE abilities, like in League of Legends. And the game world will be split into distinctive themes that will represent dungeon areas, like in the game Pixel Dungeon. And the areas will have randomly generated floors, like in the game Slay the Spire. For now, there isn't really much to show. The infdev version that you can download from itch is technically beatable when you get to the 15th floor and the game quits automatically. But this whole video was meant to serve as a intro to the future devlogs, where I'll dive deeper into specific mechanics that I'll try to optimize and add. With that being said, thank you for watching up until this point, and if the game has caught your attention, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.